baby. Let's get it. So, I know a lot of you 911 owners, new car owners, always have this guy right here. This, this, the little screen protector. You'll have it for years. I still have mine. I got my car back in August. But these guys have saved me a couple hundred bucks because. Cause I was gonna call my PPF guy and have him do my interior, so my center console, my my screens, and my tack. But these guys contacted me like, "Hey Jeff, do you mind throwing out our product out there, and then we'll send you a sample?" And I was like, "Sign it over, brother. I'll take care of it." And then we're gonna install that right now, and we'll we'll see what the process is like. This is how the package comes in, and again, the QR codes on the back too. This is for the 992. So what comes with is uh, the the tack. It's a covering for the tack, the center screen, and um, the center console. That piano black is brutal. So let's just peel this open and see what comes in the kit. They actually sent me the kit with uh, some excess film in case I screw up, which I'm hoping I don't. Because so, maybe I can actually give you guys, if I see you at a meet or something, one of these pieces so you can have it for your car too. Yeah, but it comes with everything right here. So you got your film, you got your microfiber towel. It's pretty nice too, to clean off the dash. I'm probably gonna bring my own too, but yeah, you can see how the, how it lays out. And then there's already a solution within the uh, bottle. So you, all you have to do is add distilled water. I would add distilled water because there's no, uh, there won't be any calciums or anything like that that you get out of your tap. So just to be safe, use some distilled water, fill that guy up and then all the patterns. So for the center, as you can see, you can't really see it because it's white, but... Oh, they have all the individual buttons too, man. This is exciting, man. I'm excited for this. The center screen, right? So two of those again. And then, oof, this is going to be the hotter one. I think getting the tack done is going to be a little more difficult. But again, they gave me doubles. Hopefully I get it all done in one shot. And I don't see the squeegee though. Oh, 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 sorry. The squeegee is in here. They give you a little squeegee there. So you're covered. So I'm not gonna unravel any of this. I'm just gonna do it when I get to the stop where I'm gonna do it. Cause I'm gonna do it outside so I get better lighting. Yeah, the packaging is pretty dope though. Just this little pipe. You got your microfiber towel along with your squeegee. I'll throw that all back in there. And then, yeah, let's install this right now. Let's see where it goes. Time to get the product, baby. Let's get it. First you gotta get the screen pro protection solution in. And I got my distilled water, so I'm gonna take this out. I'll just put that there. I like to put some microfiber towels on because it's going to be a working area, right? That should be all you need. So I spent two bucks on this gallon of distilled water. Give it a little shake. And I suggest you guys get the uh, the security package where they give you extra film because you really never know what's going to happen when you're putting this stuff on. Let's finally get this guy off, huh? Oof. Actually, it's done its job, so. It goes deep in there, too. All right, so that's off. Now, it looks relatively clean, but we're gonna clean that off some more. And then, again, they give you the microfiber towel. You'll take that off. I like to give it a good shake, make sure there's no dust or anything on it, cause, see, look how much dust flies around, you know what I mean? So make sure you, you clean that off first. But I do have some other microfiber towels too that's gonna help with this whole situation. First off, I'm gonna clean this guy off. And saturate it too, don't be scared. It's just water, so don't be worried about it. I like to have these guys nearby, so. If there's really a lot of water, I can take care of it. And then keep your film nearby, okay? So you're gonna line it up. This is how it's gonna go. And they're gonna give you extra because it's gonna tuck underneath the seams and everything. So just make sure you're good to go. So let's wipe heavily. We'll give that a good clean. You know, just to do the job, you know what I mean? And I like to come in here with another Dry microfiber. Just get all that dust off. Looks pretty clean. This is gonna be a quick setup. I'm gonna make sure everything's lined up. That's good. And then I'm gonna saturate this guy again. Okay. Don't be don't be shy with it. This is a 2024 911. I'm not really worried about a little distilled water. Again, see, I use the distilled because I don't want to worry about anything else going on the film. And then we're gonna lightly put this guy on here. All right. And then don't do don't be perfect all off the bat. And then you want to wet this again. And then your squeegee is gonna come in handy. Don't 
and then wet the squeegee too. Don't be don't be shy with that. Just wet the squeegee, make sure it slides. And then you want to tuck everything. And it slides a little bit. If it's not sliding the way you want it, add more of the solution on it. Again, spray. Be liberal with it. And then what I like to do is tuck this behind first. Right? And it's pretty pliable. It moves around with you. And then now it's there. And then you're going to slowly just bring it up. And now you're going to see some curling in the edges. That's okay. This stuff is super slippery too. So just be mindful. Just take your time. So there's going to be some edging here. Just make sure everything's lined up before you actually squeegee down. And play with it. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. So now I'm pretty content with that. I'm just going to come over here to the edges. Just make sure that's tucked in the way I want it. I'm going to again, I'm going to wipe off this excess water. And then I'm going to pin down the middle and then wet this down again. Just so your squeegee, your squeegee runs nice. So just pin down one area, go up, good, and then down. And then you can work this out, right? And then don't worry about bubbles because it's gonna happen. And then all that excess water, you see that? Just take that out of there. And then come back in, squeegee, squeegee, and then tuck, that little crease comes up. Just tuck that guy in, hold on. Let it lift, it's okay. Let it lift and then tuck it. So you just like that, and then we'll fall back behind. And then get that bubble out of there. And it's gonna squeegee again. So it comes down. It's gonna come down, watch. There you go. And it's clean, right? Add some more water, don't worry about it. There you go. Wipe that out, and let's do the other side. Let's start with the top, so work with gravity, you know what I mean? And then tuck that guy in. Alright, that's tucked. And then work at the bottom. And then tuck. And then there's a lot of excess water, so just be mindful of that. And then there's a little bit of moisture, that's natural. See how it just squirts out of there? And then wipe that down. Don't go too aggressive, it doesn't need much, you know, it doesn't need much. Look at it, it's already looking great. And then you want to come out. And then I'm going to tuck this guy a little bit more, so I just push in a little bit more, that's it. So far so good, I'm going to just check it. And naturally there's going to be some bubbles, but that will go away within 10 to 30 days, so... I'm good, man. And then I get, I'm get i going to put some more moisture on there. I'm going to wet my, uh, my squeegee just to get it nice and slippery. And I'm just going to just do a little double run, you know what I mean? Make sure everything's flat and nice. Come around the backside. Remember, start up top. Work with gravity. Don't fight it. You know what I mean? And then you're going to come back down. That's it. All right, get all that excess moisture off of there. I know you guys are probably freaking out because there's water and all that stuff, but you're good, man. Again, I'm gonna go over, just with the squeegee now. It's mint, there's nothing on there. And then you might see a little bit of bubbling happening, but that'll just go away. All right, well, that's number one. Looks really clean now. Super easy to do. All right, so the next setup, this is gonna be the tack. Let's just wipe everything down. Let's get this guy real wet. And run with this guy here. And then we're just gonna plop him in. Again, I'm gonna put this down just to get some of the excess stuff off, you know what I mean?
like use your nail too don't be don't be scared use your nail get behind it look how perfect that is right we'll do the same thing up top and see how we're just getting a little tuck in there because there's always gonna be a little bit of excess so it covers everything but yeah just let it be and then we'll see what it looks like all right now we'll work on these guys i tell you, the more you do this the faster it is too to be honest like I thought the I thought the attack was gonna be the hottest part, but it's been smooth sailing so far. And then let's go with gravity, right? So let's just do a little portion of the top, glue that down, and then come around. See how it just kind of squirts out, get all that air out of there. I mean, all the bubbles in the air, and just boom, it's down just like that super easy guys man like i can't believe i was gonna pay like two or three hundred dollars just to get this done and i'm and i'm done in a matter of uh what a 15 minute job that's crazy i don't even know why maybe i should pick up ppf for a, a side job Super simple install. I think the middle, the middle one is harder to put in than the actual tag. I think the tag has been the easiest thing so far. And just kind of clean up as you go. All the edges are clean, everything's good. It's like PPF for your screens, man. I'm loving this guy. Good job, Screen Pro Tech. Right. Now for the center console, it's the exact same steps as you did for the screens. You're gonna clean it off by spraying and wiping. And from there, you're gonna saturate the area again and just lay down your screen protective film. It's that simple. I'll fast forward this because you'll be bored out of your mind watching this, but it's the exact same setup as we did for the screens. And you're just going to spray both sides of the films, lay it onto the center console, and then spray it again and also dampen the squeegee just so everything glides better. So when you're lying it down, it all just kind of stays put and it, and it doesn't rip or kind of get stuck up on the film. So it, the squeegee easily glides over the film. And then you get an easy tack down and you're good to go. It's super easy. I'll just fast forward this so you guys can see. And just like that, we're done. The Screen Pro Tech is laid. You got the screens, you got the tech, and you got the center console all finished out and dialed in. No need to go to a PPF shop and spend, and spend a couple hundred dollars. Save me some cash. Again, click the link in the bio, Screen Pro Tech. Thank you guys for uh, sending me out this kit. It's really saved my interior and then saved me a couple hundred bucks from not having to go to the PPF shop. So Screen Pro Tech. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for this. And um, any car that you need, it's all in there. Just click the link in my bio. If you need it for your 992, I definitely recommend it. It was such an easy install. I thought the tack was going to be nuts. I thought it was going to be, oh, this is going to be the hottest thing I'm ever going to do in my life. But it was super easy because, like, you just drop the steering wheel down a bit. So then you can get in there and you can kind of, and I'm a big guy. Like, my hands cover this whole thing. You know what I mean? Like, I still got in there and I put everything in. It's seamless, man. Just go into it. Get it done. 
clean up your interior. I gotta clean this cosmetic. I mean, I've not. This is the first time. Distilled water for sure. Go with the distilled water so you don't get any of those particles of minerals in, in your uh, in your water. It just makes the install so much easier. All right, let's clean up and then um, get going because this guy needs to rest for at least 24 hours so all this stuff can cure. I'm excited for this. I'm excited now. I gotta clean up. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one.